everyone, it's Anya here. I'm back with another video for Ophelia Crafts. So today we are making a male birthday card and I'm using the Butterfly Basics stamp set. So I have chosen the, the fern and the stamp to uh, create a male birthday card, um, sending wishes your way, it says uh, on the tag and then inside it says happy birthday. Um, so this is... Um, Perfect plum, and I think this is garden green. No, always artichoke. I'm not sure because I got a set of the pack of paper, and it was all in there, so I haven't got the ink. But I'm just using um, mossy meadow to match up with that. So, and I think that's fine. Right. So I've also decorated the envelope. So there we go. A nice fern and some stamps on there as well. So we're going to start with our basic things. Now, as I said, I didn't have much of this green paper, so what I did to create the second tag, I cut that out of here. So I just, with my trimmer, I cut a square out and then I sized it down so I can make the tag from there. Uh, once it's covered up, nobody's going to notice. Otherwise, I would have had uh, to use more paper and, like I said, I don't have much of that. So I wanted to be frugal. Okay, so let's start with the inside of our card. Uh, this is perfect plum, so that's a normal card base. We have the piercing mat here. And I'll put it there. I'm going to stamp like this. So I have my fern here. And I'm using Mossy Meadow. Inking it up and just putting it on the side. Stamping it once or twice or even three times to get a bit of an effect and then I'll do it again like that so it fills up that corner there. Then onto the stamping scrub with this. Then we have here happy birthday which I will stamp in. Um, I'm using elegant eggplant and perfect plum. Egg, elegant eggplant is a little bit darker so it, it's, it goes really well with it. So I'm using that one and then the little stamp. I also am using, um, no, we'll do that in Perfect Plum, just to give it a little bit of, and then a third one, there we go. So that's our inside done, that can go to the side. Then we will do the tag. First of all, we need our tag topper punch. Oops, there goes my um, mist bottle with uh, the stamping mist for cleaning my stamps. It's on the floor now. <laughs> oh dear. There we go. So that's created some nice tags. I'm just going to leave the corners straight. You could round them if you wanted to. That's the one for underneath. So that goes on my pile ready to assemble. Then here we're going to, in the dark one, we're going to, so that's the perf uh, the elegant eggplant. We're going to sort of, I put it angled, but then I stamp it straight so that when you look at the card it's still straight to look at the sentiment is straight to look at if you if you know what i mean right so we have one two and three just to fill up sort of that bottom part of the tag and then i'm going to add a stamp there we go and that's that so that's that done as well then we still have here our mat and then we have at the front of our card so what we are going to do here is basically we're going to fill it with the fern and the stamp so let me ink it up and i'm going to start from about there and you can stamp it once or twice just to give that gradation of color i think my ink pad needs and I'm going to do that in a slightly, um, there. My ink pad needs re-inking, I think, because it looks lighter than what I'm used to from the Mossy Meadow. I like Mossy Meadow. It's it's um it's a colour that I use quite a lot because um it's sort of, it's a good green. It's not too bright or it's not too yucky or sometimes green can be sort of nearly fluorescent but this one isn't so there we go that's that and then all we need to do now is position the stamps 
So we have Elegant Eggplant and Perfect Plum. I'm just going to put a few in the lighter places. I'm going to put a few lighter ones. And then in the darker places, I'm going to... Not necessarily darker, but you know what I mean, because this will show up a bit more. There we go. Just random, basically. And I think we have forgotten the envelope. So let's do that first before we assemble the card, because otherwise all my ink pads will be gone, I think. Oh, I want to close them before I assemble a card, because otherwise... Well... What's the likelihood of a card ending up in the ink pad when you're still assembling it, eh? For me, that's like about 100%. <laughs> oh, so, yes, I do tend to um, close my ink pads once I have everything stamped, just to make sure that I'm not going to get anything into the ink pads. And then a quick check of the fingers is always handy. Get rid of this and let's get our glue. And there we go. Okay, I got more than I wanted then. Okay, so that's the inside. We always start with the inside. Work our way from the inside to the outside. So that's our inside panel. Then um, what I do when I've done this... I generally just put a line of glue, making sure you don't touch the edges because of course they are going to be visible. And then I put that on there. See, nobody's going to, oh, she says, nobody's going to know. And then she moves the paper. Yeah, there we go. So, you know, if, if you're short of paper and you want to do this kind of design, you do have to do something. So. You know, I might as well just show you that that's what I did. As I didn't have much paper of this particular colour. Okay, so some glue on the panel as well. Then we put that on there. Look, you can't tell that we took the tag from that as well. Then we are going to put the tag onto each other. We're going to offset it so that the under, because they're both the same size, if I was just to put it like that, you wouldn't see that there is another one onto it. But I'm just going to make sure the hole is in the same place and then slightly offset it so you've got this double layer. And then we're going to put some more dimensionals. You could put a ribbon or something in the um, opening, but I haven't got anything really that sort of would go with it. So this, so now the important thing is to, right, so we've got the card like that. So now you want to put the tag on so that the sending wishes your way is actually straight. So that gives you the angle that you need to put your tag onto the, onto the card. And then we have the envelope that goes with it. And so now I have two male birthday cards, actually, and I need those because I have two male relations who are having their birthday soon. So there we go. Cards done. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my video and see you next time. Bye.